Hello friends, myself Dr. Sarthak Mohanty and today in this video we will discuss about the nerve of the second branchial arch, the facial nerve. Now this nerve has four components, a branchiomotor component that supplies the muscles of facial expression, posterior belly of diagastric, stylohyoid and stapedius. A visceral motor component that gives parasympathetic innervation of the lacrimal, submandibular, sublingual and almost all the glands of the face except the parotid and the sweat glands. A special sensory innervation to the anterior two-thirds of the tongue via the caudal tympani and from the soft palate via the greater petrosal nerve. It also gives a general sensory supply to the skin of concha of the auricle. Now the bronch this branchiomotor component forms the bulk of the facial nerve that is the motor root and these three forms a small part of the facial nerve that is the sensory root otherwise called the nervous intermediates. Now the sensory root is a misnomer because it contains this visceral motor component so it is not entirely sensory. Now these four components origin from four different nuclei in the brain. The branchiomotor component origin from the motor nucleus the visceral motor component origin from the superior salivatory nucleus the spatial sensory component origin from the upper part of the nucleus of tractus solitarius and the general somatic component origin from the upper part of the spinal nucleus of trigeminal nerve now coming to the course the motor nucleus of the facial nerve present in the pons gives rise to the motor root which passes dorsomedially towards the caudal end of the abducens nucleus and occupies the facial colliculus. This is the facial colliculus that occupies that position and then bend abruptly at the cranial end of the abdus abducens nucleus forming an internal genu. This is an internal genu. We can see in this picture also this is an internal genu. Okay. This is the facial colliculus. and emerge at the lower border of the pons along with the sensory root. Motor root forming an internal genu emerging at the lower border of the pons the cerebellar pontine angle and this is the sensory root. Both root emerge at the same together. Coming to the course the motor nucleus gives rise to the motor root which passes dorsomedially towards the caudal end of the abducens nucleus and occupy the facial colliculus. This is the facial colliculus in the fourth ventricle. The motor root occupies the facial colliculus. Then it bends abruptly at the cranial end of the abducens nucleus, forming an internal genu. And this is an internal genu. This both these are the internal genu. And emerge at the lower border of the pons along with the sensory root. Here is the sensory root, nucleus of tactus solitarius here and here the um, superior salivatory nucleus so these uh, roots emerge together now further course of the nerve is divided into two parts up to the styloid process it is the intracranial and intrapetrous part and beyond styloid process it is extracranial part now the intracranial intrapetrous part so after emerging from the lower border of pons at the cerebellar pontine angle both the roots enter the internal acoustic meters accompanying the vestibular cochlear nerve. Here is the internal acoustic meters. This is the vestibular cochlear nerve and here lies the facial nerve. At the bottom of the meters both the roots unite to form a trunk which enters the bony facial canal. This is the internal acoustic meters. Here lies the opening of the facial canal inside this. So here it enters at the internal acoustic meters this is the facial nerve this wire is represented as a facial nerve so and here lies the facial canal this whole part is the internal acoustic meters and this is the facial canal it enters the facial canal now in the facial canal the nerve takes an abrupt turn and bends backwards forming a genu the external genu so here it forms it turns abruptly backwards and forms a loop called the external genu. Now here we see the same same thing in a better way. This is the internal acoustic meters. The nerve comes straight 
and takes an abrupt turn to enter the facial canal this is the facial canal this whole part and this part is the genu so at the genu it forms a swelling called the genicular ganglion here we see a swelling over it this is the genicular ganglion then it passes backwards and downwards in the bony canal above the promontory and fenestra vestibuli here it pass enters the facial canal and passes downwards and backwards like this this is the forward direction this is the backward direction so it passes downwards and backwards above the vestibuli so here is the fenestra vestibuli and the promontory this is the promontory so it lies above the promontory and fenestra vestibuli passes downwards and backwards now several branches arise in this canal i'll show you one by one